Hi, I'm Mike. What you're about to see now is a short video that my wife and I made uh, about our cat Swizzle, who's a patient of Dr. Noonan's at the Veterinary Specialty Clinic in Buffalo Grove, Illinois. Once upon a time, we found out that Swizz had asthma, and Dr. Noonan said that one of the best things we could do would be to nebulize her. I looked at her and said, are you crazy? I guess a lot of people do. So what we're doing is we're doing this video just to show you, well, no, she's not crazy and, well, it actually works. Hi, this is Swizzle. She's a 16-year-old tortoiseshell female cat. She has asthma. So what we wind up doing is we nebulize her twice a day. This is Swizzle's carrier. As you can notice, what we've done is we've surrounded the entire carrier with a little bit of saran wrap. That way, when we nebulize her, the broth from the nebulization actually stays inside and she gets to inhale it. That's with Neb Neb. Let's go. So as you can see, what she's doing is she's actually just gotten up and she's heading down the stairs. Neb, let's go. Come on. Up and into the carrier and she's ready for her nebulization. As you can see, she's actually very comfortable inside of her carrier at the moment. What's going on now is Wendy has taken a Flonase and Obuterol and put it into the nebulization device. Now what she's going to do is she's going to get and she's going to neb, neb swizzle. So that's the nebulization device going in the background. What Wendy will do is Wendy will, will hold that until all of the liquid in the chamber has gone and there is no more mist going into the carrier. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and all of the liquid from the medicine cup is gone and Wendy will lift her thumb to make sure that there is no, some up, look, no mist coming out. So now it's time to turn it off. At this point, what Wendy will do is she'll remove the nebulization device and close up everything to keep her in there for a couple minutes. To make sure that she stays in there, we have a little bit of a trick. What we do, Wendy is now going into the kitchen, and what she's doing now is she's putting Swizz's dry food in with her. She'll put it in and then close it up again to keep that mist in there. So now Swizzle gets to eat and inhale more of the mist. That's how we do our nebulization here. Thanks for watching.